Hi guys, my name is Alina Manicola and today I'm going to show you a homework help video. So I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so the video that I'm going to share with you guys today is how to interpret charts finding the median, the mean, median, mode, and range. So I just have some definitions for you guys in case um, you need a refresher on the definitions of the terms. So the mean is the sum of the values of all of our observations or data points. And then we're gonna divide that by the, no the number of observations. And then the median is the set of data that's in the middle most number in the set. And it's the number that's halfway into the set as well. The mode is the value that appears most frequently in a data set. And finally, the range is the difference between the greatest number and the least number. Okay, so after going through the definitions, I just wanted some more practice. I wanted you guys to have some more practice on the terms themselves. So I just have find the mean of the data set as follows. So I have two, five, one, seven, five, six. So from what I've said before, the mean is the total sum divided by the total number of the values. So if we count up all of these values, our total is going to be 26. And then if we count up the um, separate numbers themselves, we know that there's one, two, three, four, five, six separate numbers. So that's our total number of values in the set. So 26 divided by six is 4.333, and that's the average mean of our data set. And then an example of finding our median. So in our data set, I just have five, five, eight, two, nine, four, three, one, five. So something that's super important that you guys need to know is that in order to find the median, it's going to be extremely helpful for you guys to rearrange the data set if it's not already in least to greatest form. So what I have here is not, so we need to rearrange. So once we do that, we get one, two, three, four, five, 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 eight, nine. And then to get the middlemost number in the data set, all we want to do is cross out the numbers from the first value to the last number and then keep going until we get a value in the middle. So I just have um, my cross out value. So we first we cross out the one, then we cross out the nine at the end, then we cross out the most, the innermost number next, the two, the eight and then the three, the five, the four, and then the other five, and then we're left with one number in the middle, which is five, and that's our median. And then for the mode, I have a data set, five, four, seven, two, four, three, four. And from what we said before, the mode is the most frequent value that we see in the data set. So what we wanna do is count the number of times that we see each number. So from the set, we have, a five only once we see a four three times right here right here and right here and then we see a seven once and then we see a two once and then we see a three once so we can say that four is the mode since we see this number most often and then finally for finding the range our data set is three eight nine three two five so from the range, this is once again, the difference between the greatest number in the data set and the smallest number in the data set. So we know that the greatest number is a nine, the lowest number is a two. So we're going to subtract nine minus two equals seven. So our range is seven. Okay, so after that little refresher, I want you to apply what we learned using the actual charts. So I just have a chart example right here. Um, it's coin collections, then we have a name of the people, and then just like the number of coins that they collected. And from this, I want you guys to find the mean, median, mode, and range from this chart. So pause the video to do this on your own, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you an explanation. So for finding the mean, we wanted to count up all the numbers in the data set, which actually equaled 50. We want to divide this by six because that's how many values were in the data set itself. And we get 8.33 as our average. Moving forward, I 
put um, the numbers already from least to greatest form. So if you're checking your work right now, you need to make sure that you did this. So I had seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine. And what I did, I just crossed out from the first value to the last value, kept going in. And this is something that I haven't mentioned to you guys yet. So if you got this correct, good for you. But so eight and nine were the middle two numbers. So if you have two numbers that are in the middle, then what you want to do is you want to add these two numbers up and divide it by two. So eight plus nine, 17, divide that by two, 8.5, and that's our median. And then, like I said before, the most frequent number in a data set is the mode. And from that, we saw that nine was the most prevalent number because we saw this three times. And then the range was the difference from the greatest to the least number. Our greatest number was nine, our smallest number was seven. Subtract that and we get two as our range. Okay, so I have another example for you guys to try on your own. Um, if you didn't get the other one correct, here's another shot. But I want you guys to figure out the mean, median, mode, and range from this chart. And once again, pause the video to try this out on your own. But I'm going to move forward and give you an explanation. So from counting up the um, total number of sum, we got 63. Um, we want to divide this by 8 because that was the total number of values that we saw in the chart. And then once we do this, we get our average mean of 7.875. That's our that's our average number. And then for the median, um, I want you I wanted you to put this from least to greatest number, like the last example. So I have six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine. That's how our order should have looked. So once we cross out the first to last value and keep moving forward inside, once again, we're going to get two values in the middle. So if you remember from what I said on the last example, once we, when we get this with two middle numbers, we want to add two and then divide it by two. So 16 divided by two is eight. And then just like the last example, our mode was nine again, because this was the most frequent number in the data set. Um, and then for our range, we know that the greatest number in the data set was nine and the least greatest and the smallest number in the data set was six. Once we subtract the two, we get three, and that's our range. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I want you to stay, stay, stay safe as well during these crazy times. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you got a lot out of this video. Thank you so much.